Hey, what's going on guys? Shane here. Today I have for you an ba -ba -da, Airsoft Claymore. I saw this on um, Amazon and I was like, I'm gonna check it out. I remember whenever I used to play, this was like I don't know, 10, 11 years ago, they had Airsoft Claymores, but they were very expensive, like $150 minimum um, for anything. So we used to make them out of rat traps and big lag screws and stuff like that. I saw this and I was like, man, that's pretty cool. So I wanted to check it out. So let's dig in. So this might be kind of cool. I don't think it's going to be super useful, but I think it'll be fun if I could actually like get a kill with it and, and film it and stuff. It'd be kind of fun to watch, especially slow motion. All right. So we have an extra key here. Uh, you don't need to see it, but it goes on the top of the mine, basically. Pretty chunky. Pretty chunky. Um, it's already set. I uh, opened it up with the battery in it and stuff, so I wouldn't have to do that on camera. Uh, this thing's it's pretty cool, I will admit. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty neat. So you can put the little, uh, it's got little things, so you can just set it down like that. That way you don't have to stake it into the ground, but you can stake it into the ground. Uh, and it has a key here. So you twist it, and you take out the key, and then you have your clacker, which I'll turn to on, and... Oh, I don't think I turned the mine on. Alright, so I got it set up over here. Um, it's kind of cool how you load it. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess I shouldn't have done that, huh? Alright, so I got it set up right here. Um, as you can see, it's kind of cool how you load it. You actually flip this up, and then there's a little hole right there. And then you pour in, well, it's made for gel blasters, I think. But you pour in BBs, right? And, um... I don't want to risk destroying my camera. Well, I'll do this. I'll, uh, we'll do it this way, and I'll throw just a little bit of BBs in there. From looking at it, you're probably going to have to do a mod on the bottom of it to keep the BBs up, um, because they just fall down into the into the bottom here. Um, and it, you'll see it once it opens. But all right, so I got the safety key in. So first thing we do is twist the safety and take it out. That always freaks me out. Cat, you're about to die. You need to get out of here. Kitty, I love you, but you are about to get destroyed by this thing. Okay. There you go. All right. Three. Oh. We have to be very careful or else it'll just go off. Okay. Three, two, one. Clack, clack. All right. So it freaking launched. I saw one specifically just launch out of there. Um, and some other ones just fell out and uh, that's kind of what I was talking about because of the way that they made it um, as you can see it's basically just so we used to use two rat traps to basically to make this exact thing but the problem is is some of the BBs fall under here uh, so I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have a mod uh, I'm gonna put like a, like a block down there where it perfectly lines up with it uh, to get maximum um, you know exposure when it comes out so as you can see it's just normal plastic the hinge is not great I got a feeling I'm gonna have to be doing some repairs after so many uses but it's just got basically two giant springs in there, like two rat traps, and it pulls it out. Uh, pretty cool, to be honest. I mean, like, the aesthetic-wise, it looks really neat. Um, I would love to put it on the chest here whenever you were out uh, playing. It'd be cool to put it on the chest here when you're out playing, and then whenever you die, just giving it, bah! <laughs> uh, that'd be kind of neat. But there's all kinds of, I mean, there's all kinds of ridiculous things that you could do with this. Um, it does have a little tab here for a tripwire. Um, so once you get it unlocked and everything, well, put the tripwire at first, and then you can pull the key out. If they hit the tripwire, then it'll explode. Uh, this is 2.4 gigahertz uh, as far as the remote is, so I don't know how good the range is. It takes two double A's for the remote, and then it actually comes with a small battery pack. Uh, for here, which I lost somehow in like the week that I had this thing before I did this video. So I ended up just throwing a JST connector on a small little NIMH battery um, that I had and it worked fine. I think it's like like five or six volts. It's not very much. Um, and the on and off switch for the actual claymores right here and then the on and off switch for this is this. So, so yeah, you could absolutely have some fun with this thing. 
um, you could use you can put whatever you want to in it, right? So um, I'm trying to think of something that explodes. That's kind of I mean, you could put powder in it if you wanted to use it as a powder mine. Uh, you throw BBs in it. Um, I'd probably just put a bunch of, uh, I don't know what kind of BBs those were, but I'd probably just put a bunch of light BBs, honestly just a bunch of .12s. Um, it's going to get the job done, right, because this is just a mine. But I can't imagine coming around a corner seeing this thing look at me and someone's just like, <laughs> someone's got this and they're just like, hey, hey, hey. And they just clack out, you can see. You can't really see it very well, but that's the mechanism right there. Yeah, so it's pretty cool, man. I, I, I will say I was I was a little bit. So it feels kind of cheap, and it is kind of cheap. I mean, this was like twenty five or thirty dollars. So they do make some that are like a hundred dollars that have like infrared sensors and all kinds of stuff. But I'm not looking for that. This is something I'll use very sparingly, just for something fun. Probably if I do a defense game, um, you know, it'd be something cool to have. Especially to say you were sniping, like say you're in a building and you were sniping, you put this against the door, put run a tripwire that way. If someone comes in to take you out from from the back. Uh, you can just pop it out and you're good, right? Um, but yeah, so this thing's really cool. I'll give you one more, uh, and then uh, I'm actually probably gonna do a uh, video of just some fun with this once I get out on the field. I've been trying to get, oh, whew. it's like nerve wracking setting this thing up. I've been trying to get out and play more, um, but it just hasn't been in the cards, man. Busy, got kids, wife, all that good stuff. Okay. I like the clacker. It's like super Vietnam style. It's fast. I'm going to slow it down, but it's really cool. Um, yeah. Uh, comes with an extra key. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty basic little video. I just kind of wanted to show you something cool that I thought I found on Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description. You can check it out. But um, yeah, like, subscribe, share, ring the bell, shameless plug, all that good stuff. And uh, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time.